my name is Leon Morant. I'm the owner of Get Juice and Tilting Market. We do plant-based food, juices, all cold-pressed, and gluten-free and vegan cakes. And we've been doing that now for six and a half years. Uh, so I'm what you call mixed ethnicity, uh, mixed with uh, Jamaican and English. Um, yeah, and I'm born in Tooting, South London. Starting my business was about promoting health in the community. Um, I found I was in an area with not many options for healthy food. Um, I also traveled for like two and a half years. I got a moment to take, take a step back from, from tooting, from this lifestyle and experience different foods and cultures. And in that, um, it really rang bells to me how important diet was. Um, and also I could see how diet affects people. And I decided that I'd start a business. Uh, well, it wasn't really a business to start with. It was more like, it was a calling, you know, it was like, there's a, there's a problem here. How am I going to resolve it? What can I do with my community? And I took the step to open my business and serve people uh, juices and salads and acai bowls and you know, fresh cane juice and stuff that people don't usually have access to. So we get asked loads of questions about different dietary requirements or different ailments people have and how that can, how we can help them. And often people come back and say, you know, how much it's helped them change their life or inspired them or... It's amazing, um, you know, actually going into the manifestation that I had and seeing it come to life. You know, recently I had a, a guy come and say, he'd never tried this type of food, never tried plant-based food. And it was something, if someone invited him to go and try, he would never try it. And now he ha tried it at the shop, he really enjoyed it. And it, for him, it was kind of like, I'm making a sacrifice today, I'm gonna have a meal without meat. You know, and as we know, things like diabetes, high blood pressure, uh, cancer is rife in the African diaspora community. So, you know, have an option where people can get something uh, which is plant-based and, you know, inspire them to make a change in their own diet and uh, their own life and see that it's sustainable as well. I love everything about black culture. Like one of the favorite places for me to visit is Africa. Um, I love the food. I love the dance. I love the music, you know, just the, the spirit of the people as well, that resilience and the light that comes off the people that you feel and there's a certain magical essence about black culture. Black History Month to me is about um, celebrating the culture uh, which comes from Africa and actually taking a moment to remind yourself where your ancestors come from. Um, often we're shown about the uh, negative side of things which is obviously very important. Let's not um, you know, denote that. But at the same time, with everything in life, there needs to be a balance. You know, you can't just show one side of, um, of life. You know, it's like training. You can't just fight, fight, fight. Cause you, you're gonna end up just having a lot of aggression that you don't know how to deal with. So you have to do a bit of yin, a bit of yoga, a bit of stretching and it's the same with Black History Month. I believe there needs to be more balance, you know, and it, for me, is a time to, to kind of remember that. And in this current age, there's loads of beautiful things happening, things you can tune into. Um, you've got great musicians out there, you know, sieve them out. Uh, guys like Londrelli, you know, there's people creating beautiful clothing with African textiles you know, try and source the textiles from Africa, not made in China or, or Holland. You know, actually take this time to kind of remember uh, the roots. You can check out things like the Benin Wall in West Africa, the largest wall ever created by man. Um, you've got um, the Egyptians, the Kemets, um, You've got the Dugong tribe that could see Cyrus without a telescope. You know, there's loads of amazing history that came out of Africa that's not displayed. And 
we need to take a moment to absorb that and um, in doing that I believe uh, comes self-love and self-love is the foundation of growth foundation of life you know without love we wouldn't be here today so that's what Black History Month is to me starting my business I was very focused I worked hard seven days a week non-stop um, I eventually burnt out I was chasing my tail um, it did serve me in many ways and it didn't serve me in many ways but I would say don't rush take your time create a plan use that plan like a like it's your Bible stick to it keep reading it keep writing notes about what you want to do next create spider diagrams create a journal because um, when you write down stuff, it actually helps to embed it into your mind. Speak to the right people, uh, people that are in the same industry. Speak with people that have, can have a positive influence in your life. You might have a family member or a guardian angel. I like to call it. I've got certain guardian angels in my life. Um, and actually uh, appreciate and have gratitude for those people. There's so many things nowadays to distract us. Um, you know, I believe that before um, in the, the times when there was slavery, they would show the slaves um, what would happen to them if they didn't obey. And now we're getting projected all these images of what's happening um, to Af people from African descent in America, like George Floyd and many others that I can't name off the top of my head but just keep hold of your light and you know, be aware of what's going on, it's very important, but also um, focus on your light within and don't let these things deter you or make you, f make you uh, lose focus and self-belief because you can shine brighter than you'll ever imagine. So just keep pushing, stay focused, and I wish you all the best. Blessed. <laughs> My name is Leon Morant. I am proud to be the owner of Get Juice Bar in Tooting Market, South London. This is my Black History Month. <laughs>